what does Congress do after the shutdown? Lawmakers simply cleared out of Washington. The House will return after five days. The Senate will return after more than a week. Speaker of the House John Boehner spotted boarding a plane to Ohio. But as they travel, one of their colleagues issued a kind of challenge. He is giving his pay back to the U.S. government for those 16 days of gridlock. ABC's Jeff Zeleny decided to ask others if they'll do the same. This morning, Congressman Frank Lobiondo, a New Jersey Republican, sent the Treasury Department a check for $5,124.09. He enclosed a note. The check is a repayment of my salary incurred during the 16-day period of the partial government shutdown. I come back home every weekend. I have to look people in the eye. Uh, the idea of me keeping the money just was unconscionable. Since it was Congress that shut the government down, one of the top questions you asked us, should they get paid? Some lawmakers were defiant. Are you going to keep your, your Absolutely, salary? Absolutely, I'm going to keep my salary. And, and, yes, I'm going to okay. continue to take my salary. I'm working. Everybody that works gets paid for working. But now that the shutdown is history, how many Congress members will do what Frank Lobiondo did and give their paychecks back? We wanted to ask lawmakers, but on the day the government turned on, Congress took off. The hallways here on Capitol Hill, empty. So we picked up the phones. ABC News called or emailed the office of every single member of Congress and senator who voted no last night on reopening the government. Is Senator Risch planning on cutting a check to the Treasury? 33 said they would return or donate them to charity. Republican Chris Collins of New York is giving his to the Boy Scouts. 116 did not respond. Only 13 members said they were keeping their salaries. A spokesman for Representative Jim Bridenstine of Oklahoma said he worked harder than ever during the shutdown. Uh, Congressman uh, Lobiondo has this message for his colleagues. Right. Every member is going to have to go back to their constituents and look them in the eye and be able to tell them what they did and why they did it. Jeff Zeleny, ABC News, Capitol Hill.